What's up, you guys? This, my name is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Bergs, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading. Cups to side you, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. Just saying. Okay, so I received a channel message in, um, uh, or a couple, actually. So I'm going to deliver them. It's a free general collective reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest, even though it is a signed reading, and it's been a few months since I've done the signed readings. Um, there's millions and billions of Virgos in the world, so you, it's very important to only take the messages, yeah, messages that resonate for you, Virgos, and leave the rest, just saying. Okay, so um, the channel messages, uh, this can resonate via Virgo in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter. Um, so the first one I heard was um, a very significant betrayal. Um, some by a Cancer, some by a Capricorn, some by a Libra. It's about to become very significant in a Virgo's life very soon. That was the first one. And um, the second one I heard, um, a Virgo is about to get a very, very, very shocking phone call soon. It is about to shock the hell out of them. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates, Virgs. So um, whoever this resonates with, um, I feel you can be masculine or femme. I didn't hear masculine or femme um, in the messages, so in the channeling. So you plug it in, how it resonates. But a very significant betrayal. So it sounds like it's upcoming. Uh, for some, it could have just recently happened, possibly, but I feel for a lot of you guys, it's upcoming. But some kind of significant betrayal energy. Um, some of you guys, it sounds like it sounds like Tennis Awards energy. It feels like Tennis Awards energy in the Tarot, like the biggest betrayal in the Tarot. It doesn't sound like no baby betrayal. It sounds like a huge-ass betrayal. Some of you guys, it's a betrayal by a Cancer. Some, it's by a Libra. Some, it's by a Caps. But I heard it's about to be um, very significant in your life very soon. So I think, you're about to find out about this betrayal or you have just found out about it and you're about to take action um, from the betrayal in some shape, form, or fashion. That's what I'm feeling, but only you know your story, not anybody else. But it's betrayal energy by a Cancer for some of you guys, masculine or femme Cancer, uh, a Libra, some of you guys, masculine or femme Libra, and some a Caps, masculine or femme Caps, um, and some a Scorpio, and some a Scorpio. Okay, so we have... Um, Oh, you got four signs. So, Cancer, Libra, Cancer, Libra, Caps, or Scorpio. They have Cancer, Libra, Caps, or Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts, masculine or femme. I feel for some, you have just found out about this betrayal. Some, you're about to. But, I feel Ten of Swords energy here. I don't feel it's like Two of Swords or, you know, like, well, I'm not going to do that because that will confuse y'all. I feel it's like Ten of Swords energy. The biggest betrayal in the trove is what I'm trying to say. I feel it's a huge ass betrayal. Now, whatever it is and however that plugs in your life, only you know your story, not anybody else. Um, I feel you guys are very, um, you're earth signs, but you're very smart earth signs. And of course, it's not about your signs or your placements. It's how you manifest yourself. We all know this. But when a Virgo gets betrayed, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just saying, just saying. So... I don't feel you're just going to take this betrayal and just be like, oh, yeah, you betrayed me, whatever, and not do anything about it. I mean, for some, you might. But I don't feel for a majority of my Virgo collective, you're going to be that way. I feel you're about to take some action. Some are about to take huge ass action. Some are about to take huge ass action is what I just heard. Holy crap. Yeah. Um, some of you guys are about to take huge ass action. Um, okay, well, there you go. That's confirmation from the spiritual realm. You're about to take huge ass action. So, for some, I feel you could be betrayed by one of these people. For some, two plus. For some, it might not be any of these people. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. But I heard uh, Caps, Libra, um, Caps, Libra, Capricorn, and Scorpio. Masculine or femme, they could have any of those in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Worth, and Minhaver, Jupiter. Um, and then for at least one of you guys, I heard a very shocking phone call. It sounds like somebody is about to call call you, and it's phone call energy. It's not email, it's not text, it's not messenger. It's phone call energy. I heard specifically phone call. It sounds like somebody is about to call you, Virgs, 
and um, it's about to shock the hell out of you. And that might be the betrayal energy for some of you guys. For some, it might be you contemplating getting information to take action on this betrayal, possibly. Because the betrayal energy by this person or people or what have you and however it plugs in your life is about to become, it sounds like, become very significant in a lot of you guys' life in some shape, form, or fashion. So um, you plug it in however that resonates. Spirit messages you have, son of birds. A particular Virgo is about to get a letter from the city soon. For some, it's going to be very positive. For some, it is going to be very, very, very negative. Okay, I heard a particular Virgo is about to get a letter from the city soon. Uh, for some of you guys, it's going to be very, very positive, And for some, it's going to be very, very negative. Some kind of letter from the city soon. So if this resonates for you, um, I feel you reside in a, in an urbanized area, in a city in an area. Um, absolutely, um, whoever that's for, um, maybe it's for one of you guys, maybe it's for 10 of you guys, maybe it's for 200, I don't know, but some kind of letter of, well, I feel at least for two, because I heard for some of you guys, it's going to be very positive, for some it's going to be very negative, so, um, I feel you might reside in the city, or you might, uh, work in the city, uh, but some reason the city is about to contact you, I feel for a lot of you guys, you probably live in the city, there's a reason they're contacting you, um, just saying, just saying. Some is going to be very positive. Some is going to be very negative. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. I feel you either work in the city, you reside in the city, or both, maybe for some. Emperor upright, queen of pentacles upright. And so much fast movement is about to occur in a particular Virgo's life. So many strange occurrences and very fast quick things about to happen really, really fast, it's going to make Virgo, uh, Virgo make a very shocking phone call soon. Some paranormal things, some neighbors acting very funny, some family members acting very funny. Oh my gosh, Virgo, the messages are just flying in. So you plug it in, how it resonates. My goodness, we're seven minutes and 30 seconds in. Okay, so for some of you guys, okay, this is upcoming. It sounds like it hasn't happened yet, but it sounds like it's about to. Um, so, you know, it could happen in an hour, it could happen in a day, it could happen in 10 days. Everybody's on a different time of life pass. Some of you guys, it's paranormal activity about to happen. So anybody doesn't know paranormal activity is like ghosts and things on the other side uh, of the veil energy basically um it's things on the other side um like ghosts and things like that on the um on the other side of the veil okay so not here in the 3d with us on the on, well 5d spiritual but it's the other side when you pass over okay that is paranormal for anybody doesn't know so paranormal things i'm thinking ghosts i'm thinking maybe things moving and moving and nobody's there to move it um maybe things start i hope not things start flying around because that's a sign of evil entities um i didn't hear any of that i didn't hear any of that but i heard very very quick strange some of it's paranormal some it's from your neighbors some it's from your family members um but it's about to happen sounds like quick and soon well not soon quick 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 movement whatever it is um and it's going to be about to be very strange so it's either in the paranormal realm, it's either from your neighbors, or it's either from your family members. For some, it could be one of these things. For some, it could be two plus. But whatever the hell it is, um, and some of you guys, it is, I feel, ghosted, ghost related because uh, it's paranormal. It may or may not be um, because there's three categories in there, paranormal, um, family, and neighbors. But however that resonates, I heard you're about, it's about to make you make a very shocking phone call. You never thought you were going to make. So you plug it in, how it resonates. I hope somebody doesn't have to get an exorcism. Um, and I didn't hear that it was evil entity energy and um, like somebody having an evil entity attached to them, like incubus or succubus energy, and it starts going crazy in the home and chaos and things start flying everywhere and things like that. I didn't hear any of that. 
but I hope to God not. Um, I hope you don't have to get somebody out there to perform a damn exorcism or some shit. I mean, I'm serious. Um, but whatever the hell it is, whether your neighbor's acting really quick and funny and what have you, or your family members or some kind of paranormal activity, either in your home or your space or somebody else's, it's about to make you very, make a very shocking phone call you never thought you were going to make. I'll tell you that. Oh, my God. The Emperor Upright, Queen of Pentacles Upright. A particular Virgo is about to be shocked when someone confesses their true feelings for a particular fire sign feminine energy. Okay, so you played in how it resonates, um, Burks, uh, whoever you are. Uh, I heard a particular Virgo is about to be shocked when a particular... Um, person displays their true feelings for a particular fire sign femme energy. Um, so, um, masculine energy displaying their feelings. Actually going to be very genuine this time. Not controlling and domineering. Things have completely changed. Okay, I heard, uh, wow, okay, so I heard they're not going to be controlling and domineering this time. Uh, things have completely changed, so it sounds like they're going to move in on this fire sign femme in a completely different um, way than maybe they had contemplated on moving in on them in the past, or they did move on them in the past. How that resonates? Whoever this is for, Virgo, this is not you. Um, you're about to, it's somebody you're connected to with or somebody of your past, either the fire sign femme or this masculine energy, or they both could be of your past or currently in your energetic space, you plug it in how it resonates. But it's, um, I heard you're gonna be shocked. You're gonna be shocked, uh, I think, on how this masculine energy is going to present themselves. I heard present their true feelings to this fire sign femme. I heard not in a controlling, domineering way. So I think they're going to, um, I think at one time they thought, either they thought they had to come in in a controlling and domineering way, or they wanted, their game plan was to come in in a controlling and domineering way, but it sounds like they're not going to. It sounds like they're not going to this time. It sounds like they have changed their perspective, their mindset, and their um, game plan here, and they're not going to come in in a controlling and domineering way. They're pulling in, this masculine energy is pulling in as an emperor upright. For some, it could be an Aries. For some, it could just be another sign taking on the Aries emperor energy. Um, just because we're pulling the emperor energy here doesn't mean it is an Aries. I'm just making that clear. Anybody can be the emperor or empress in the tarot. You don't have to be Aries or a Libra. You can be any sign as long as you manifest them in a proper way here. Um, so, you know, whoever this person is, I didn't hear a sign on them. But they are coming in as the emperor upright. Um, and I heard not controlling and domineering. If they were controlling and domineering, they'd be coming in emperor reversed. Um, so I feel it could be a position of authority or a position high in the community or um, or something of that nature. Um, I feel they are highly affluent in the community in some shape, form, or fashion. I'll tell you that. Um, or the world. Um, how that resonates. And then your uh, the fire sign femme. Is about is pulling in as the queen of pentacles upright. So um, they're pulling in as the queen. So stable, grounded, dependable, reliable. I think they're focusing on their money, focusing on themselves, focusing on their well being. Um, they are they're a fire sign fam. They're coming in as earth sign energy. So they're, I think they're focusing on their money, their stability, their wealth, themselves. So you plug it in how it resonates. I heard you're going to be shocked, Virgo.
Okay, I didn't hear anything else. Um, but it's a fire sign fem. They're about to come move towards. Um, it's a masculine energy that takes on emperor energy. Like I said, it really can be any sign. Uh, so you have to plug this person in your life, how it resonates. Now, however you're connected to these people, whether you're currently connected to them or there's somebody of your past and you're going to hear about it. I'm not sure. You plug it in, how it resonates. But this person can be any sign, but it's a masculine energy. I heard specifically it was. This is your this is a fire sign fam. They're coming as earth sign energy. Stable, grounded, dependable, reliable. But he, it sounds like he is about to display his feelings towards her. But not in a controlling and domineering way. I think he had contemplated on doing it in the past. I think he has realized that that is not a smart way to go. Heard it's going to shock the hell out of you. So you plug it in how it resonates, Birds. It's, I, I feel for a lot of you guys, it's somebody you're currently connected with, whether it's in a workplace situation, a community relations uh, situation, a ball team situation, a school situation, or um, a family dynamic or something of that nature. Um, However, that resonates a committee or something like that. It's I feel it's your I feel for like you guys you're currently connected to them. Um, for some, it could be some people your past possibly. Let's do one more. Spirit messages you have son of birds. A broken vase is about to become very, very, very significant in a particular Virgo's life. And a broken jar is about to become very, very significant in the Virgo's life. The broken jar, this Virgo is about to realize someone they never, uh, they never knew practiced dark arts, practices dark arts. And one Virgo, a broken jar, they're about to be happy. They knew this person did practice dark arts. Oh my God, we have jar, ooh, we have, ooh, jar energies, ooh, Lord, okay, well, if anybody didn't watch my reading on, um, when was it, it was about a week ago or so, okay, now, if these messages, two messages resonate with you, I would really, really, really recommend going back and watching, what was the title of the reading, um, well, I cannot remember the title of the reading, um, let me see if I can find it, but it was about the jar, um, dark arts jar. Um, I'm serious. And those things really do exist whether you think they do or don't. They do. They do. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Oh my God. This is so interesting and juicy. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to try to find the reading. So if you're interested, um, for those of you that don't know about jars, spell jars, you can go back and watch this. Um, I, apparently some of you guys do know about them, but some you don't. So, Let's see if I can find it. Okay. Yep. It was done 11 day. Oh, hold on a second. Uh, okay, so this reading was done 11 days ago. You're welcome to go in my videos tab on my channel and scroll down. But the title of the video, and like I said, it was done 11 days ago. The hearse, hex, curse, evil affirmations is about to be broken. And it talks about spell jars in there. Okay, so if you're interested in that, you're welcome to check it out. It's under my video tab. You scroll down to 11 days ago. The title of the reading is the hearse, hex, curse, evil affirmations is about to be broken. And in that reading, it had not happened yet, but in, uh, we're 11 days past. For some of you guys, it's already, it sounds like it's happened. Um, and some of you guys didn't, don't know what the hell it is. Um, but this reading will help you under, kind of understand what it is. And I'll explain a little bit of it in here. Oh my God. Okay. So jar energy. Okay. So, okay. So for anybody that doesn't know, if you ever hear somebody putting somebody's name in a jar, um, it can be on the light side, positive side in the spiritual realm or the dark side, dark, negative, evil side. In that reading, the 11 days ago reading, it was the evil side, okay? But you can do positive love spells, man, money manifestation spells, positive light side, spiritual manifestation type things for yourself and your life by putting positive affirmations in a jar basically. That is on the light side. 
Now that reading that was done 11 days ago, that was somebody that was wishing like somebody death basically and evil craziness um, in that reading. But but you, if they can be done on, on the negative side too is what I'm trying to say, okay? That's just a little down and dirty. You're welcome to check that reading out if you want. Okay, so for some of you guys, <laughs> wow. Okay, so a broken jar is about to become very significant for some of you guys. Um, okay, so a broken jar. I think it's jar energy um, is what I'm trying to say. And I would really recommend checking that reading out. It's um, putting somebody's name in a jar on the evil side is very evil. <laughs> It's very evil. It's very evil. Um, that's wishing evil will upon people. Um, you can do hearses and uh, hearses, hexes and curses and all kinds of crazy shit on the evil side. But you can also, like I said, money, manifest money, manifest um, positive affirmations for yourself or people you care about, etc., etc. But in this situation, it sounds like one of you guys is about to find a broken jar. Um, and you're about to realize somebody you're connected to practices on the dark side. So I think it might be the hearse energy is what I'm trying to say. Because 11 days ago when I did that reading, somebody out in the universe had somebody's name in a jar in an evil, hexy, cursy, negative affirmation way. And I'm just being for real, for real. So I think one of you guys is connected to this person. And you're about to find the broken jar. Excuse me. You're about to find the broken jar. And, you're, uh, and maybe when you pick it up and you see somebody's name in a jar, maybe somebody you know, maybe somebody you don't, but it's not the person that is it's not whoever the hell did the jar it's not their name it's somebody else's name and maybe you see that there's somebody's hair or skin particles or dead bones or something 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 you're about to realize it is some kind of evil hexy cursy shit is what i'm trying to say um but i heard some of you guys already knew some of you guys already knew <laughs> so Wow. So whoever, whoever this is, I don't know if this is a lover, a third party, a stinky link, a family member, a neighbor, a, a work co-worker, somebody. But some, if it's a co-worker, it's, you hang out with them outside of work. I'll tell you that. I'm not saying it is. But it's somebody you're about to come across upon this broken jar is what I'm trying to say. So I feel personal dwelling energy here. I feel you're in their personal dwelling and somehow you come across this broken jar um, or their vehicle. Maybe it's in their vehicle, but I heard it's going to shock the hell out of you for some of you guys, but some of you guys, you already knew they were into the dark arts shit. Um, one, of, one of these Virgos is about to call a practitioner. They're about to get so alarmed because things are about to start changing in their life so quickly. Oh my God. Wow. Virgo. Okay, so one of you guys, I heard when you find this broken jar, so I think you are connected to the, the hearser, the hex, curse, evil affirmation person I was pulling in 11 days ago, and I'm serious. But only you know your story, not anybody else. At least one of you guys, I feel you're connected to the hearser, and I'm just being for real, for real. Um, but I heard when you find this broken jar, and maybe the hair of something, something, or the blood of something, something, or the evil, or the dead bones of something, something, or somebody's picture burn on the edges or something with this broken jar you're about to put two and two together but some of you guys already know about the jar energy some you're about to figure it out i think by finding this broken jar but i heard you're about to call a spiritual practitioner you're about to be so freaked out because things are about to start changing your life so quickly so i would really recommend checking out that reading from 11 days ago the hearse is about to be broken because I, whoever this specific message or messages is for, I feel you are connected to somebody that has done the hearse energy on somebody. And I'm serious about that. Um, of course, you can take the advice or leave it. Um, but that would be my recommendation, okay? Wow, you guys, holy crap. Two of Pentacles reverse, Eight of Swords reverse, Wheel of Fortune upright. A particular Virgo is about to quit dating, period. Period. About to realize some huge, huge, huge realities and truths about many, many, many people soon. Some a current not committed person they're with. 
Say I'm a committed person they're with. They're about to cut it off and just go single. Too much crazy shit is happening. Oh my God. Whoa. Woo, Virgo. And let me tell you, I want to say you're not the only sign about, uh, you're not the only sign about to just go completely single. I just want to tell you that. I'm serious as a heart attack. Lingo, lingo, lingo. There's not, there's not a sign called lingo. There should be, just saying. Um, Leo had a lot of single energy. Um, uh, Sagittarius had a lot of single energy and you guys are about to have a lot of single energy. It sounds like, so you're not the only one, like I said, Leo, Sag, and you guys now, um, uh, if this resonates for you, of course you plug yourself in where you resonate. Only, you know, your story, not anybody else. Only, you know, if you're going to do this or if this is your story or not. So, but I'm just saying you're not the only sign this round deciding to just go single man. There's, um, and Taurus too. And there was some in Taurus too, Taurus too. So, a lot of single energy is what I'm trying to say. You're, I mean, you're, this is the fourth sign so far. So a lot of single energy. But if this particular um, reading resonates with you, some of you guys are in current open relationships. So I feel like open, open relationships, not committed. Maybe you're dating three, they're dating four, or or what have you. Like it's not committal. You both know it's not. Whatever. Um, some it is committed. Um, and however that resonates. So. But however that resonates, whether it's open dating, just casual dating or committed, I heard too much crazy shit is about to start occurring. Uh, I feel for some it's already occurred. For some it's about to occur. And it is just about to alarm the hell out of you so badly that it's just going to make you just want to go single. Like single is a Pringle energy. And like I said, you're not the only sign. Leo, Sag, Taurus, and now you guys. Four signs so far this round about to decide this crap. Some have already decided it. Some are about to. Um, and I don't blame you. So whatever crazy shit that is in your life, only you know your story, not anybody else. I feel for some of you guys, the crazy shit's already started, has already happened. Some it's about to, but I think it's related to your dating partner or your committed partner, because there's a reason why you, Virgo, want to decide to go single is what I'm trying to say. Um, there's a reason why you want to cut the relationship off. For some of you guys, I think it's because you're about to realize your partner, whether it's committed or not committed and open, is doing dark arts with the broken jar energy. And I don't feel it's positive affirmations, love and light in the universe shit. I feel it's somebody's hair or skin or fingernails or the somebody or blood or broken bones or something, something, something up in that shit. And I'm serious. And it's about to freak you out so damn bad. You just rather go it by your damn self. And I don't blame you. Uh, nobody, uh, hell, hell to the his no, <laughs> not for me, nay, nay, but, you know, um, but everybody's different, everybody's different, you know, so you plug it in, how it resonates, okay, uh, but I don't blame you is what I'm trying to say, I do not blame you, not one bit, okay, you have that choice to make, you have that choice to make whether you just want to be single as a Pringle or in an open relationship or committed, but whoever this is for, whatever Virgos this is for, there's a reason you're about to do it, and it's related to your partner or partners if you're dating more than one. Um, and I'm serious about that. Um, I, I'm so serious. For some, it could be your partners and maybe their crazy ass family or situations they put you in, possibly. I mean, you plug it in how it resonates, but there's a reason you're about to cut it off and just do you, honey boo boo, um, is what I'm feeling here. So two pinnacles reversed. You don't want to juggle. You just want to be like, I feel like S on the tax uh, tax forms, like single, 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 like legally single, except you're not connected to anybody right now. You don't want to be connected, energetically connected, not sexually connected. You just want to do you. You don't want to be a part of any evil curse energy, hex curse, evil affirmations. Nobody putting some shit on you. And for some of you guys, I want to say the Curse energy, the broken jar, negative shit somebody's about to find out and realize one of your partner or partners is into here or somebody. I feel it's your partner for some, but for some it could be family member, it could be neighbors, it could be somebody on your ball team, somebody at your church, whoever. But it's about to, I feel it's about to make you have a wake up call to where you don't want to juggle no damn body. Um, for some, I feel your name might be in the damn jar. And I didn't hear that it was in the jar, but I feel it might be because there's a reason one of you guys wants to just completely go single. 
And I feel for some, the jar energy is connected to this. I mean, I could be wrong on this, but you plug it in how it resonates. And then the Eight of Swords reverse. You're just going to relieve your stress, anxiety, worry, fear. Um, just go in S. Just go in single, man. Just saying. Wheel's going to turn once you do this. Once you make this decision just to go completely single, the wheel's going to freaking turn. Um, now, the wheel can either turn in your favor or not in your favor. Um, but I feel if you make smart decisions and you protect your energy and protect yourself and protect your money and protect you, it will go, it will go good for you because you're not going to have anything in your life to create negative towers to make it go bad. Um, that's the way I look at it because that's a huge reason why I'm single and why I don't allow anybody in my home and I have strict rules because I don't want crazy unforeseen towers in my life. You see what I'm saying? Now that's just me. Um, and you know, what you do in your life is what you do in your life, but that's why I do what I do is what I'm trying to say. So you plug it in how it resonates, but the wheel is definitely going to turn once you do this, but it sounds like whoever this is for, you haven't done it yet, but you're about to make the decision to do it. But there's reasons and shit that's happened in your life to make you do it, if that makes sense. So you plug it in how it resonates. I don't blame you, boo-boo. I don't blame you. Spirit messages you have for Sana Virgo. Messages you have, Sign Virgo. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think one of you guys is emotional about this situation. Look at all these cards that fell out. Holy crap. I think one of you guys is emotional about this situation. I'm serious. I think a partner or partners has put your ass through the ringer, or there's just been some crazy shit happening in your life, or is about to. I heard some of you guys paranormal shit's about to start happening. So, I mean, I, I think you're about to be emotional or you already are emotional about this situation. Spirit messages you have, son of Virgo. Oh, my. Oh, my God, you guys. Look at this shit. Look at my hot mess over here. Look at that. It just flew. I got to clean up my mail. Everything's done over there, but it doesn't mean, it, I mean, it's all done, but it's all over there. I used to have it all nice and neat and organized, which it, it's still organized to a point. It just, it is, it don't look it. I'll tell you that. It don't. I accept that. I accept that. I want to get a nice little organizer. I'm going to chat with you while I get all these cards together. I want to get a nice little organizer. Um, that is one of my to-do things. Um... And I actually have it planned out in my head how I want to do it. I just haven't done it yet. Um, but I do. Absolutely. freaking lovely. Okay. My goodness. Okay. So here we go. Spirit messages you have to sign over. Oh, oh my God. Way too many. Well, yeah, four. Is it four? Oh. My poor little cards, you guys. Someone's about to get a promotion soon. For some, it is a Virgo. For some, it is someone else. Okay, I'm going to try it again. I got six. Heard someone's about to get a promotion, promotion soon. For some, it's a Virgo. For some, it's someone else. So you plug it in. How it resonates. Spirit messages you have, son of Virgo.
a particular scorpionic energy is about to really be taken down in a particular Vir uh, Virgo's life. This Virgo thinks this Scorpio is very full of themselves and they are right. It is about to make this Virgo very happy. Very conceited uh, Scorpio, Scorpio masculine. For some it is Scorpio feminine. Oh, okay. So for some it's Scorpio masculine, for some it's Scorpio feminine. But I heard they're very conceited, whoever this uh, Scorpio masculine or feminine is. Um, you think they're very conceited. I uh, heard confirmation they are. So um, you're right. You're highly intuitive, Virgo, whoever you are. Uh, for some, it's a Scorpio masculine. For some, it's a Scorpio femme, whoever they are and how they apply in your life. But I heard they're about to be taken down. Um, but they think they're basically all that in a bag of chips is what I'm gathering from this. Um, but I heard it's going to make you very happy when they finally do get taken down. So how are they going to get taken down? I don't know, but it sounds like a person or people are onto them. Um, and it doesn't sound like things are going to go well for them. However, they're going to get taken down. Um, but I heard it's going to make you very happy. So you plug it in how it resonates first. Okay, you pulled cane and bull. Pay attention to your health. Bull, do not back down from opposition. So strength and fortitude. I um, mean, to me, that goes with a lot of these messages and the reading so far. Um, Absolutely. Pay attention to your health. I think this is uh, for you guys that are in some kind of toxic relationship or relationships. Um, something is about to happen, I feel, with some of you guys' is open relationships or committed partners. And I'm serious. I feel for some it's already happened. For some it's about to. And it is just about to scare the hell out of you so bad that you want to move the wheel. And I heard for, for a lot of you guys, you're about to. I mean... You got two of pentacles reverse, eight of swords reverse, wheel of fortune upright. You don't want to juggle. You, it's not good. It's going to relieve mental health issues when you quit, get yourself out. Whether it's one partner, ten partners, polygamous situation, whatever you, whatever, whatever it is for you, and you want to move the wheel. I mean, I think it's bringing your health down for a lot of you guys. I'm serious. For some, I feel it could be STDs, and I didn't hear STDs, but I feel it could be for some. And I'm serious. If it's not STDs, sexual health, it could be emotional health. It could be mental health. Some or physical health for some. It could, maybe it's driving your blood pressure up when you start paranormal shit starts happening because you find the damn purse, the jar, and maybe your name's in it. Maybe somebody you're connected to's name's in it. I mean, I'm serious because somebody's about to find a damn jar. And it's not going to be on the positive life side. I'm telling you that. Um, some of you guys aren't even going to know what the hell the jar is. That's why I explained it a little bit on here. For some of you guys, you know what the jar is. But the jar is not playing around. The jar does not play around. It doesn't freaking play around. I'm serious. I have used the jar one time in my life to manifest money. One time. And it was a, it was a while ago. It was a while ago. Um, years ago. Years ago. Um, but on the positive light side way, you guys. I have never put anybody's name in a damn jar. When you put somebody's name in a jar, you're not wishing positive on them. I'm just letting you know right now. But I think it's bringing your damn health down, whether it's mental health, physical health, or um, sexual health. Um, I feel for some, you might go get STD tested, possibly, if it's on the sexual side. Whew. Um, yeah. But I think that's why you're about to make this decision for some. I'm serious. I am so serious. And I don't blame you. Bull, do not back down from opposition. So strength and fortitude. I feel this goes with the channel message about that conceited scorpionic energy, whether it's a masculine or femme. Um, I don't think I don't think you like them. Um, I heard you know they're very conceited and cocky. And I don't blame you. Uh, anybody that walks around acting like their shit is just too good for anybody. Um, who wants to be around somebody like that? And I'm just being serious. Who? Who? Nobody. Not I, said the little red hen. You know, and that's just the truth. Um, and I'm sure you don't either, Virgs. Um, for real. Do not back down from opposition, so strength and fortitude. One particular Virgo, there's about to be a very spoil, spoiled water sign feminine. Some in your workplace, some in a community situation soon that is going to get with, they're going to get what they want at all costs. 
But if you stand up to this situation, once you find out about it, they will not know this. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Man, you guys, y'all are running along too. Okay, so there's a spoiled water sign femme energy. It sounds like in your life or about to be in your life. Now, for some, it's in a workplace. For some, it's in some kind of community situation. So I'm feeling ball team energy, school situation, um, community group activity. Maybe it's choir. Maybe it's um, or something of that nature. I mean, some kind of community group activities. It could be uh, whatever it is. That could res That's very broad. It could resonate a million different ways, okay? And then for some, it's workplace. So, but it's a spoiled water sign feminine. Um, spoiled Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I heard they're going, they're going to basically get what they want at all costs regardless. But it's, it's like they like to mow people over to get what they want. Um, but I heard once you find out about it, it will not happen. But you basically have to stand up for what you believe in and your morals, values, etc. Or the situation or... Maybe you need to deliver information or something. I mean, you have do not back down from opposition. So strength and fortitude here. So I think your voice, it, maybe for some, I feel your voice doesn't matter is what I feel. I feel for some, you think your voice doesn't matter. But it does. It most certainly does. Know this. It really does. Okay, I heard it does. It does. Know this. That it does matter. So you plug it in how it resonates. So... Know this, Virgo, your voice matters. It matters. It sounds like you're going to need to use it and use it soon. Some is in a workplace situation. Some is in a um, um, community act group activity. It could be kids sports, adult sports, um, board room, oh, board energy, uh, school. Um, trying to think community things. Um, Maybe it's some kind of political activism or something of that nature. Um, something very public. I'll tell you that. Um, and community related. And some it's workplace. But I heard your voice does matter. You, but you need to use it. You need to use it. Okay? Of course, you can take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Everybody has free will. But it sounds like you need to use your voice. Okay? All right, let me see if I hear anything else. It's a, it's a very spoiled water sign femme energy. You're pulling in some very spoiled water sign femme energy. I just want to say that. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, feminine energy. And then um, uh, somebody that thinks they're holier than damn thou, Scorpio masculine. Um, just saying. Uh, but um, the spoiled water sign femme energy is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine here at Jupiter. <clears throat> Okay, we're done. We're done. All right, you guys. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. Hope this helped and namaste.